Hello everybody, this is David from Blueprint.IoT and this video is part of a video series about the production process of a PCB and today we're going to talk about how to make the actual film we need to produce our PCB. For the beginning we start with the first step if you want to print your own uh, circuit board and yeah, you, you, you get it, there's the word print inside so first of all we have to print something. For this you need a normal printer I haven't one here because I guess everybody knows how to use a printer. Um, make sure that you use a laser jet printer. Do not use the, the normal the normal toner printers. Make sure you use a laser jet printer. It's just about the density of the toner and the yeah the, the kind of, of printing process that you need to 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 use this film later properly in the exposure process. To print your circuits to your board you first have to print the, your circuits on a paper for this we are using this kind of paper here it's a special paper it's a drawing paper you see you can look through you can also use um, use a film a proper film but in my experience to print on a, on a film is quite difficult and it's not the, the toner itself is not sticking so properly to the to a film so if you use this drawing paper you have to search for a, for one of these old drawing or art art shops where you can get this paper. And it's actually quite quite expensive for paper, but you don't need this, this much. So just make sure to buy some of these, and then you get a very nice dense color here on the paper. So you need this this transparent paper because um, for the exposure process, the light have to pass through your paper. But of course, you also need dense um, dense circuits like you have it here. That's just an example, a circuit I, I use in, um, yeah, re on a regular term. The form here is so-called Eurocard. It's looking like this. So the board itself is looking like this and you can see it's fitting perfectly on my circuit. So that's about the paper and how to print on the paper. After you print it on the paper, your circuit, you can do a little trick because sometimes the toner is not very dense and then you can use a special a special tool or a special trick and that's the so-called density spray comes in a normal in a normal tube like this also here take care on the security and the safety instructions and yeah make sure to open the window and not inhale this stuff how, is it, how to use it, it's just you shake it and afterwards you use it in, yeah, m try to use it in smooth movements over the fresh printed paper. So for example, you printed this one here, make sure to, to use the spray on the right side of the paper where the toner is and then directly after you printed the, um, the, the circuit on your, on your paper, directly afterwards use the density spray. It's very important to do this absolutely as fast as possible. So maybe prepare a big sheet of paper there beside your, your printer, beside your printing machine, and then as fast as possible, throw, throw the, the paper out of your printer, put it down on the, on the other bigger paper, and use the density spray on the smooth movements. Um, don't, use, don't use too less, don't use too, too much. Try a little bit, play a little bit around with it before, and then make sure to use it very quickly. Why it's important to use it quickly? It's because that the spray is trying to connect the single toner molecules. So it has to be fast as, as long as the, the toner itself is a little bit, yeah, not liquid, but very fresh. After the toner is completely dry, it will not work anymore. So really make sure that you do it very fast. Okay, after you printed your circuit on your paper, on your drawing paper, the next step is to cut your, your circuit out of the big paper. That's optional, you don't have to do it, but I personally prefer to do it. And then you have these little sheets of paper that are exactly the same size like your circuit board. You can check it and then it's, it's fitting. So why I prefer to, to cut it into, the little, into little paper sheets, the reason is if you do a, a double layer, so you're using the front layer and the back layer, 
there is a problem because if you have wires, so if you have a connection through the whole circuit board, like a normal hole where you put, I don't know, a resistor through or whatever, and you need a connection on both sides to connect the front and the back layer, the front and the back layer, then you need yeah, a very precise positioning of the paper because if you drill a hole from this side, it should be the hole on the other side and not the next one. Otherwise you will have a shortcut or whatever. So it's very important to position the, the film properly. For this I'm using a trick. You can see it here maybe, I hope. Yeah, you see I drilled a hole through the paper. So at the beginning, before I start with the exposure process, I use a small dr drilling machine and I drill one hole through it. And that's my orientation hole. And um, according to this hole, oh actually I have two one, two holes at the other side of the, of, the, of the circuit again. I try to position it exactly and from the back I have these two fixed points on the other side as well and I can position also on the back side my film properly. By doing this trick I am always sure that it's perfectly aligned on my circuit board. So that's basically all you need to know about how to produce a film. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video about how to produce a PCB.